Um, yeah, I think our, generally our whole experience of being in Versailles has been, has been awesome. You know, I was obviously, as a player, involved with a couple of World Cups and, and there's, there's challenges that do come with, you know, being based in, in one place if that place isn't, um, hasn't got, you know, everything that you need as a, as a player or as, indeed as a coach. So um, I, I think I can probably speak for the whole squad that uh, our whole experience has been, has been great. Obviously, it's a beautiful place, first and foremost, but obviously we're here to train and train hard and the facilities have been great. And the people have been incredible, really, really, and, and none more so than today. Um, obviously, I'm, I think a lot of kids are happy that they're off school. <laughs> I don't know whether it's watching us or being off school that they're more happy about. But um, no, uh, really, we really appreciate it, and um, it's really made a massive difference to us as a as a squad. That you know how welcome we've we've been made to feel uh, since being here. Cool, yeah, the reception you got the kids when you got off the bus and onto the training field. What does it what does it mean? Yeah, look, is <clears throat> Just alluding to what JT said, really, um, like we were kids once, um, we got excited when, um, like a professional club, where that's rugby, football come along, and uh, it's nice to have your pictures taken and um, sign a couple of autographs. So you just got to put yourself in, in in those shoes, really, and remember that you was a kid once and um, what it means to them. And like JT said, the reception we had was brilliant, and it has been the old uh, the old tournament so far. Elliot, tough session after a few days off. Yeah, it's always, uh, it's always tough having a few days off and coming back in, but uh, no, great to sort of have something like that to blow the cobwebs out. Um, obviously, great to have a few days with family to sort of refresh, not think about rugby, um, spend some time with them, um, and give back some of the sacrifices they've made. Obviously, a uh, lot of young kids in the squad, uh, a lot of partners staying at home with, with young kids, and obviously we... We miss uh, a lot of the hard work when we're away here. So um, no, it was lovely. We've uh, the emphasis from Gat is always family first. Um, so it was great to be able to have our loved ones out here and um, spend some some quality time together and um, get back in today and hit the ground running um, and blow some cobwebs out. Go I uh, went to Disneyland with the family. <clears throat> I only walked about 50 steps. I think the old time. Um, now, nah, look, um, like Elliot said, really, is uh, the family make a lot of sacrifices as well as us. So it's nice to get them out here, um, get some quality time, and spend spend some time and cherish some moments with them out here. So uh, yeah, it's been it's been lovely. But we knew that today wasn't going to be easy. Like Elliot said, Gats is massive on family first. But we had them four days off, and we knew that we come in and we had to work hard for each other. So uh, we back on uh, on the bandwagon now. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, I think you always. It's important to enjoy uh, the moment. You know, obviously, professional sport is uh, is um, can be relentless. So it's, I think um, winning that Australia game was obviously a huge moment for us in terms of qualifying. Um, and then having the, f the few days off was uh, definitely good to have that feel feel good factor going into a little bit of time off. But absolutely, again, professional sport now is about um, being humble, hitting reset, and making sure. For me. Um, confidence comes from your preparation and the work that you do in the week. Um, you, you know, you can't look back and go, oh, we're confident because of that victory. Your confidence comes from your preparation and the hard work. So we need to now hit reset, work hard, as the boys have done today. Um, we've got a tough game, very tough game next week, um, and we'll be completely focused on that. Just find one from East, the housekeeping. Uh, how is Dan and Lee are Penny Dawson's side there? And Adam Beard, obviously we've seen his great news back home. Yeah. Yeah, Liam is just a little bit of illness. He'll be fine. Um, Beardy will be back with us tomorrow. Obviously, great news uh, for Beardy and his family. Um, he'll join back up with us tomorrow. Um, Biggs is, as you've probably already been told, uh, nothing serious, a bit of a pectoral strain. Um, I think Gats initially said to you guys he probably thought it would be a couple of weeks. I think nothing's really changed in that. I don't think anything's off the table in terms of selection for Georgia, but you know that sort of two-week time frame is, is there or thereabouts. So um, that's an ongoing assessment. And who the pens is? Uh, pens is just a load management. Um, yeah, nothing too serious with pens, but just some load management, and that's why he didn't train today. Yeah.
No, I, I think um, you. I think that sort of uh, professional players are competitive, <laughs> aren't they? And I think that's something you will always see. Obviously, fortunately, it was an open training session, but you always have that little bit of niggle. I suppose um, that, that that performer side of you is competitive. I think the amazing thing that I've seen with this this team and this squad is um, you have that edge in training, but then as soon as they walk off the training field, um, there's laughing and joking, and then they're taking the mick out of each other for for you know what's just happened in the in the session. So. I think that's getting that balance, that competitive edge is, and then being really close, having close relationships off the field is very difficult uh, to strike that balance. But I think that's one of the real highlights for me since um, certainly this campaign, oh, well, going back 12, 14 weeks now since we came in for mini camps. I think that chemistry is, is really powerful and the balance between the edge and, uh, and I guess the family side of things. Yeah, um, obviously it was quite tough at the start. Um, I obviously let the boys down um, in the first game. <clears throat> um, I had a few chats with the management group, which obviously they were open and honest and basically said, look, at international rugby, these these decisions can be costly. Um, I knew it was a stupid mistake from myself. Um, but I'd like to think I'd learn from them. Um, and the, the nice thing, for myself was that obviously they put their trust back in me and give me another shot um, the following week, which I like to think that um, <laughs> I'd done it right then in, in the second game. But um, yeah, that, that first game wasn't one I want to remember. Um, just thankful that we got the win in the end and uh, like the forgettable I know. Hopefully you lot can as well, is it? <laughs> Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, as I probably, my previous answer in terms of, you know, a difficult thing with professional teams to strike that balance. Um, but it's all, you know, it comes from the, the, the tone of the leadership. Uh, and Gats is obviously the, the head man. And, and I think, obviously, I've played under Gats. And, um, yeah, and I take my hat off to him, really, for being able to, he's probably one of the best I've ever come across in the, in terms of, being able to drive the players really hard. He's very open and honest with the players. You know, there's no nonsense um, attitude. Um, the expectations are really clear. Um, but then he's got this really kind, nurturing side to him, which is all about family. And you know, if players need need to go home or they need some help or whatever, so um, quite a remarkable thing to have. You know, the, both abilities in your in your character. Um, and I guess I'm, you know, for me as a young coach, I'm learning off him as well, you know, in terms of that balance. Um, so, yeah, it all starts with him. And, and obviously everything flows downstream, doesn't it? So it flows through the coaching staff, through the players. Um, and then eventually you end up with quite a content playing group because, one, they're fit and they've been worked hard, but two, they're happy because their families are happy. Thank you. Cheers, Thank guys. you very much.